Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Uh, today uh, I'm going to share with you uh, the, uh, the topic, uh, which is uh, minerals and their effects on productive and uh, reproductive performance of farm animals. Uh, in this, uh, I mean. Uh, topic we will be discussing some important things like uh, i will be giving you a brief introduction and the uh, uh, role of uh, macro and uh, micro minerals uh, which have uh, effects on uh, productive and reproductive performance of farm animals so let's start with the uh, macro minerals uh, you can see uh, here, uh, here are almost seven uh, macro minerals, and each uh, the deficiency of each uh, mineral uh, causes specific uh, uh, problems um, uh, or their imbalances. Uh, they cause uh, different issues in animal body. Uh, some of the um, issues are commonly I mean, uh, common in human and animals. So uh, let's start with the, uh, the I mean, deficiency syndromes. But the first one is calcium. Uh, in my previous lecture, uh, I have uh, discussed with you the, uh, these minerals along with their sources. I mean, what are the sources for these minerals? and their functions and importance. But uh, in this uh, lecture or this part of the lecture, I will be discussing with you the deficiency uh, symptoms uh, within, in, within uh, animals. Uh, if we talk about macro minerals, uh, there are almost seven macro minerals, which include calcium, phosphorus, sodium, uh, chloride, magnesium, potassium, and sulfur. Uh, calcium, uh, as we all know, that it's a major portion of the bones. Um, so, if uh, uh, we talk about uh, animal, the deficiency of this calcium uh, causes milk fever, especially after parturition in, uh, in, 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 in animals, because uh, most of the calcium is being uh, um, added into the milk, and uh, the body reservoirs of calcium for of animals. Are lowered. So the first one issue, first issue regarding the deficiency of calcium is milk fever. Then uh, another issue is uh, poorly mineralized bones that ultimately leads to osteoporosis. And in, in case of poultry, uh, we can have uh, weak egg shells. And you can observe it uh, very clearly. Then comes phosphorus. Phosphorus and calcium both are very important together. And, uh, if you remember, I have discussed with you that most, uh, more, or most of the, or more than eighty percent of uh, phosphorus uh, reservoirs are uh, uh, present in the bones along with calcium. So, if uh, one of the mineral is affected, the other one's balance is also affected or disturbed. So that is why the deficiency of phosphorus also causes the poorly mineralized uh, uh, bones. Uh, ultimately leads to leading towards uh, osteoporosis um, and uh, uh, causes the dramatic uh, weight loss uh, weight loss in in animals uh, that is uh, that can be the part of rickets uh, stiffness of joints and muscles uh, and bone in, uh, degeneration uh, in uh, animals, phosphorus also uh, causes the impaired uh, fertility. Uh, if uh, we see uh, the importance of sodium and chloride, because sodium and chloride, they are present and salt, uh, NaCl, um, and the, 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 their uh, deficiency may cause the weight loss in animal body, dehydration, reduced performance, and delayed puberty. Uh, and, uh, you can see that it, it not only affects the productive performance of animals, but also uh, causes the uh, delayed puberty, which is a uh, direct indicative of the reproductive performance of animals. 
Uh, next one is uh, magnesium. Magnesium, uh, it can uh, cause the draw scatterly in, uh, in, in uh, uh, animals. It can replace calcium and phosphorus in bones. That is also dangerous. And uh, also cause uh, scattering in animals. Uh, for uh, potassium, uh, potassium, uh, the deficiency of this element causes the weakness, uh, emaciation, uh, loss of weight, dehydration, and distended abdomen in animals. And uh, the last but not the least macro mineral is the sulfur, uh, which is actually uh, very important, especially in the growth because most of the sulfur containing amino acid part uh, they, they they are the part of proteins uh, which uh, contribute towards the uh, formation of of uh, muscles uh, in animals so if it's deficient in animals it can cause a reduction in the growth rate of the animals and uh, if we talk about uh, sheep and goat it can also cause the reduced wool uh, uh, wool, hair, and feather growth in, in, in a sheep, goat, and poultry. So that was all about, uh, uh, I mean, uh, macro minerals. Let's go towards uh, uh, micro or trace minerals, which are uh, needed by the body below uh, 100 milligrams per deciliter. Um, I mean, it's very, uh, no doubt, they, they are trace minerals or micro minerals, but they are also required by the body uh, for different uh, function. Uh, if we talk about cobalt, uh, it can also, the deficiency of cobalt leads towards anemia. Uh, it can also uh, cause lower growth rates and reduced appetite. For copper, copper because uh, uh, it is also required in uh, animals, especially um, uh, poultry, but uh, their concentration could be very low as the higher concentration of copper in the body uh, may lead towards the toxicity. So their deficiency of copper uh, causes faded hair growth, joint swelling, no loss of winter coat and anemia. So we can see that uh, cobalt and copper, they both uh, cause uh, the, the, the deficiency of both these elements along with iron. Uh, we can see here uh, causes uh, the deficiency uh, of, of, of the RBCs in the, in the body or anemia. Iodine. Iodine is very famous and very well known for everybody. And uh, the uh, deficiency of this uh, element or mineral causes the uh, I mean, decreased metabolism rate of the body, uh, ultimately leading towards the lower growth rate in animals. Also causes goiter, that is the enlargement of uh, thyroid uh, gland. Um, and uh, at the time of the birth, dams uh, are produced to rule less. So it's also very important. Uh, iron, uh, everybody knows about uh, iron because it's part of the heme uh, component or molecule of the blood, especially the RBCs. So that is why the deficiency causes the anemia. Let's go towards selenium. Selenium uh, causes uh, two to three issues in, in uh, animals. Uh, in cattle or in buffalo, these can, uh, it can cause white muscle disease. Uh, muscular, uh, that is the muscular dystrophy and muscle weakness or loss of muscle tissue are the salient features of this muscular dystrophy. Uh, second issue uh, because of the deficiency of selenium is stiff uh, lamb disease. Uh, actually, stiff lamb disease is the, uh, caused by a selenium deficiency along with vitamin E deficiency. And the third issue which is caused by selenium deficiency is liver necrosis in which the liver cells are damaged or destroyed. Then comes zinc. Zinc causes the uh, wool softness, especially in uh, uh, sheep and gold, wool sleeping and thickened skin. Uh, in case of uh, manganese, uh, we can see it also causes skeletal abnormalities. Slip tendons in poultry uh, that causes the severe issue in, in poultry birds. 
especially while they they uh, uh, causes problem in uh, in their uh, I mean, in walk, walking uh, impaired reproduction uh, and in males manganese is important as it causes the test the deficiency causes the testicular degeneration and in females it has the same I mean a very very important role uh, like it causes the defects in the ovulation and if you know if uh, ovulation does affect that in animals uh, they, can't, they can't be they can't uh, uh, I mean uh, increase their generation we can't get the, the carbs we can't get the, the proper I mean uh, next generation and uh, if uh, calcium and phosphorus uh, um, um, in, in case of if, if manganese is in excess, it causes the uh, 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 decreased absorption of calcium and phosphorus. So uh, you can see that uh, I mean uh, the role of these minerals uh, in animal uh, body, uh, their uh, uh, deficiency syndromes have been listed uh, uh, very clearly in this lecture. Um, I think uh, that would be all because this is the part two of my lecture. Uh, thank you very much.